Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sean Krabunda, and this is episode 3 where I show you guys how you can code your own Discord bot using Discord.js. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you a nice advanced command handler. So, in the previous two episodes, I show you how you can set up your Discord bot, get your developer tools, and program basic commands using the basic command handler. So, if you haven't seen those previous episodes, make sure to check those videos out first, as this episode will build upon the knowledge and the facts that I showed you in that episode. And basically, to get the full experience of this episode, it is highly recommend that you watch this previous episode. So in today's episode, um, I'm going to be showing you guys advanced command handler, which is good for larger bots. So as you can see right here, this is the basic command handler, which is good, which works, but it gets very tedious and it's inefficient if you have a lot of commands in it, and it's not ideal for big bots. So in this using the advanced command handler, it makes things very easier and more smoother. So in, in all my future videos, we'll be using the advanced command handler. So it's a good idea that you watch this video and start implementing the advanced command handler in your bot. So the first thing that I'm going to do is look at our index.js file, which is our main file. So we're actually going to be removing all of this. So for now, we can just comment it out. So but the way to do that is just type forward slash and then the asterisk that will comment all of this out. And we want the token, so we're going to just type forward asterisk and then forward slash. So that will keep the this line, the token login right here. And then what we're actually going to add in here so we're gonna create two new Discord collections. We're gonna type client.commands. And um, in my previous video, I showed you the client is capitalized. So so from now onwards, it's a good thing to keep the client lowercase and keep it capitalized here. But everywhere else, make sure to just lowercase it. So that's just a good habit. Client.command is commands equal to new Discord collection open parentheses and then close it and then semicolon and we're going to create another collection for the events so client dot events is equal to a new discord collection so we actually want to create two new folders we want to create a handlers folder so let's do that new folder call it handlers and then in the handlers folder what we're going to do is then we're going to create additional two handlers so we're going to create a command handler and we're going to create an event handler so the first thing i'm going to do is create a file call it command on underscore handler.js and then the next file i'm going to create is event handler.js so the command handler will handle all our commands and the event handler will handle all of our events like this so now that we've created those files, we can just list these. So we're gonna open brackets, single quotation marks, and we're gonna type man underscore handler, and then comma, and then the next one, which is event underscore handler. So event handler. And then we're gonna use a for each function, which will loop through each of the handlers and it will require them. So we're going to type for each and then handler and then we're going to use open arrows and then the error function and then open this and then we're going to require it so require and then the, the black slash so the key that's above your tab and then we're going to type dot forward slash handlers the dollar sign open brackets handler and then close that and then we're going to just do client discord where we're putting discord is in case we're using any sort of embeds command we need that we need to go through the discord that's why we're typing that discord right here we're going to go into our command handler and then we're going to start typing so in our command handler we have to first use const to require const fs so if you don't have that you just go open up your terminal npm you want to do npm install fs and that will install all the modules and dependencies that are needed so once that's done simply type const fs equal require open parentheses single quotation mark fs come on and then now we're going to do is module dot export is equal to client discord error function and open that up and then we're going to do const command files is equal to 
fs dot reader sync and open this parentheses and then single quotation marks dot forward slash command forward slash and then dot so under dive file with the error function dot ends with and parentheses single quotation mark and it has to be g dot javascript file for js and then close that and then so basically what's being done here is that we created a new variable commands which will allow us to go through all the commands files. So now what we're going to do is we want to loop through all of the command files. So we're going to type for so open parentheses const file of command files. Open that and then type const command is equal to two dots and or slash command oh yeah make sure to use the back tick key it's the key that's above your tab and then forward slash here and then we're going to use the, the dollar sign braces file and then close that with the back tick and semicolon and then we're going to type if command dot name is client dot commands dot set command dot name base Command semicolon else return return and so basically what's being done here is that we're going through all of the commands files and for each of the commands files that we see we're going into the commands folder so basically we're going into the commands folder and um, if it's not there we just continue on so now that we have the command handler done it's pretty simple straightforward we're going to go on to the event handler which is used for these commands right here so we're going to open up the event handler where it starts off, we're going to do the same thing, const fs is equal require, and then in parentheses fs, okay. And then now we're going to type module.exports client discord. So, and then open that up, the error function. Let's talk about what we're going to do. So we're going to create an events folder basically which will have two different events so first it's going to be our client event client once ready console log bot is ready our other type is our guild so basically what's happening happening in our discord server message.send so basically we're going to create an event folder so new folder call it events so in the events folder we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it guild and then in there we're going to create another folder called client so as you can see here, we are creating the folders inside there. What we want is, we don't want guild and client folders to be created inside of each other. Instead, we want two separate folders, so let me just do that real quick. Alright guys, so I fixed the problem about the client and, client and guild folders being created inside each other. So an easy way that I found to fix this error is basically open up your file explorer and then create the folders manually. So, and additionally what you need to do is key make sure that everything is lowercase. So let me just rename handlers to change the uppercase h to lowercase to make a match up with the convention. So now that we have created an events folder, this like I talked about earlier, the the client side will be basically what we're doing like console.log bot is ready and then the guild is basically like what happens on our discord server so let's go back to the event handler so we want to like create a um, variable there which will basically be like a directory that we can go inside our events so let's type const load underscore dir is equal to dirs and then error function we're going to type const event Files, Google FS, reader, sync, and then back the back tab key, the dot, forward slash, events, slash, dollar sign, and then braces, dir, and then we're gonna just close that, and then period thing, dot, filter, file, error function file ends with our javascript files parentheses quotation marks dot js close all that with the semicolon and once we're done with that we're gonna uh, go inside our directory and then and then go inside um, event files so what we're gonna do is just go type for const 
file of event of full, that's how I call it. And we're gonna, then we're gonna type num tab and then const event equals require open parentheses two dots slash right back tab we're gonna type events and slash dollar sign braces there's and then slash dollar sign braces file and close that with that and then semicolon and then we're gonna go inside again we do we're gonna type const event name is equal to file dot split open parentheses dot and we're gonna set that to zero so bracket zero colon and then client dot on event name event dot bind and we're gonna pass it discord client semicolon we're gonna what we did in the main JS file where we listed all them, the file command handler and the event handler. We're gonna list these files right here. So we're gonna type quotation mark client, comma, and then guild. And then we're gonna type for e, e, error function, load, der, e. All right, so that's your event handler right there. Okay, so we're gonna finish off our events now, and uh, the, we have client and guild. So for example, the client dot once ready console dot log bot is ready. Ready is the event here, so we're gonna just create another file with it and call it ready dot js. And we're gonna basically it's a very simple file here, and then we're gonna type module dot exports equal open parentheses error function console dot log quotation mark bot is ready. Very similar to what we did before and then so there we go. That is basically now whenever we run it, it's gonna log bot is ready, that's an event. Next what we're gonna create is our message event basically, which is all of this the most important event. So under guild we're gonna create a new file called the message .js. So essentially you can copy a huge chunk of what we did in episode two. The first thing we're gonna do is module export is equal to pass in Discord client and message and our function open parentheses and then here you're gonna same thing whatever prefix was we're gonna use the same prefix so const prefix is equal to quotation marks and the exclamation we're gonna take this and copy this so this starts with the prefix or if the message starts with the bot it's gonna return it and again it's gonna splice it here basically split the two commands so like youtube and ng shan like i showed in the other video and then shift to lowercase so if you want a more detailed explanation about whatever is written here just make sure to check out episode two where it's explain more detail so now that's done we can just type now const command is equal to client dot commands dot get at cmd and then finally if command is true and then we want to execute it so we have a client we have to add our command folder so as you can see right here all our commands in the main file so we don't want that and that gets very inefficient so we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it commands here we're going to store all of our files so we're going to call it ping.js so we've created our ping file right here so we're going to type module.exports and equals braces we type name and then and basically the name of the file is Pong. And then we're gonna give a brief description about it. So I'm gonna say this is a Pong command. Comma there. And then we're gonna type basing execute client message args and then Discord. And then basically the Discord is in case we're using embed command. And braces message dot channel dot send pong that means the name of the command to ping and we're getting an error here because of a y s n c rather it's a s y n c there we should and it should be there now we pre type node space dot this bot is ready we go to our discord server here is from last week where we left off ping 
And now similarly we can just quickly add our YouTube command. So we're going to type YouTube JS and we're going to essentially copy this. Okay, so here basically just change the name of the command to YouTube and this is a YouTube command and just say here we have my Discord server and then just copy this. Here's G Sean's YouTube link and then double asterisk to pull that and node space dot and ping replies pong and then YouTube. There you guys have it. Now you know how you can use this advanced command handler for your Discord bot. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a like, share this video with friends and family, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And if you haven't checked out the previous uh, episodes on the tutorials on the how to code your Discord bot, make sure to check those out as well. In the future videos, I'm going to be using the advanced command handler, and it's super duper convenient and it's super efficient. Unlike the basic command handler, which can only take a maximum of like 10 to 15 commands, and it's not ideal for big bots. And if you have any suggestions for videos that I should make regarding this Discord series, such as kick bot, a band bot, music bot, just let me know in the comment section below. The next couple of videos will be more about administrative commands, and basically like the kick, band, the mute, and the clear messages, all that type of stuff. Once we got that out of the way we can jump to more fun stuff hope you stick around for all those videos and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day bye bye